Ever wonder what is inside that massive yellow and black warehouse? With a huge white concrete duck standing proudly at the entrance? Well that massive 10,000 square foot building, with its eye-grabbing colors of yellow and black, is the well-known and celebrated Elwood Antiques. Original structure is at least 90 to 100 years old, give or take a few years, and then second half built in the early 80s. This place is and has had other shops. Leading up to the purchase of this warehouse 20 or so years ago, they started out in a rental of 3,000 square feet. Of an old diner. Just down the street. Same area. Same stretch of highway. Called Blended Eras. This shop took off fast and was a huge success. They meaning Bruce and Dennis ran this shop for eight or nine years. Then as we they learned. Landlords get greedy and zealous of one success. And wanted more money. And well operating the shop became tough. For the landlord went off deep end demanding more and more. So a vendor in shop that sold a very valuable boardwalk property. Offered to buy Dennis the building of his choice if found. So within 24 hours Dennis found. Inspected. And the negotiations began. On what we now know as Elwood Antiques. And a rebirth of the nine year old blended eras moved. And became aged to perfection antique warehouse. And sure enough. Dennis. Bruce. Stan. Mike and another handful of people, went to town gutting the previous business left behind mess, and building our new shop, didn't take long Dennis would spend days and nights, ripping up tile, removing non-structural walls, to give more open feeling, and Bruce was running our shop blended eras, until time to begin packing, and making the move, to a new 10,000 square feet versus 3,000, well that was a ton more space, even though Dennis, and Bruce, had no problem filling with inventory. They instead, marked out 50, 100, and bought 80 wall-size showcases, from Kate who had since sold her antique shop, and they began letting friends, and others, rent the spaces, as to give the shop verity, and choices, as well as a scale of prices, for customers to have options. Within one week's time, the shop then known as, aged to perfection antique warehouse, was packed to the rafters, literally, and with little to no effort, the shop soared into the stratosphere, of loved antique shops in New Jersey, we may have changed the name, but they all knew, the shop was still, Bruce and Dennis, they and two friends, Jim Zorio, and Robert Metzger, Bob, ran the shop with an air of, relaxed, no pressure sales, shared information about items freely, and never ever stalked a customer. Our rule set at the start in 1989 was no vendors were asked to work. To this day still stands. For simple reason. Arguments. Jealousy. Stealing sales accusations. And gossip. We wanted customers to feel comfortable and relate to our staff. So we made it a set rule that same two must be at hand in shop Wednesday to Sunday 10 to 6 and this way visitors and repeat visitors would always know us and connect with us. Dennis. And Bruce. Bruce more so. Dennis is a shy computer paper pusher kind of a guy. But. They have bonds and are even invited to homes of the customers. Because they connect. Connect on a level that it's not retailer to buyer. It's us finding what our friends want at a price they want to pay. They love what they do and do what they love. The shop to this day. And they have been in business since 1989. Has had its toll both Bruce. Dennis. Lost both parents. Dennis first diagnosed with cancer. We lost Bob. Robert Metzger and Jim didn't really have the heart in it after losing Bob. And a person drove the air truck right through our shop's wall. Parking. The massive Jeep Wagoner. Inside our shop. So clearly it was an eventful period. To protect. And save. The shop from vultures. Hoping I would sell. Dennis turned over the rights of the shop to Bruce. And that's why shop is now called Elwood Antiques. We have attempted to open second shops. One had for four years closed to asbestos. One. Landlord sold property. New owner got greedy and then intended to buy last property, and well, termites, and ground contamination, so no more for now.
Elwood Antiques, will be the only shop for now. 10,000 square feet, and lockers full of inventory. We got you covered. And don't forget, Dennis is running. A win-win-win sale. Many if not all items on showroom floor, have been marked down 20 to 80% off. And buy his items. Get free gift. Pay cash he pays the tax. And shop itself has sales. From 10%, to 25%, or more just ask. You cannot lose shopping with Elwood Antiques. Lee away. Clean outs. Buy outs. One piece to entire collections. Appraisals. Lectures. Liquidation consultation. 90 various websites. Or social media platforms. Elwood Antiques is global they are everywhere. And physically located tucked into the pines on Route 304133 White Horse Pike Hammond New Jersey 08037 or call us at 609561037. You can even text Dennis for I live broadcast of the shop text him to set up a time 609412417 or visit our new non Facebook page https colon slash slash idealblend.wixsite.com slash shellwood antiques we are building it so bear with us but if you belong to facebook you can reach us https colon slash slash www.facebook.com slash ideal blend antiques if you prefer instant messaging https colon slash slash m dot me slash ideal blend antiques as i said we are everywhere it's been said in a good turn of phrase that Elwood antiques is not your typical antique shop and we agree wholeheartedly See you can't please everyone we know this. But you can care about everyone. Care what they want. Care what they want to spend. Care enough to talk a customer out of buying something. Yes talk them out of buying. We do this. Because we rather lose the sale than lose the buyer. It's all in the communication. Yes listen to the buyer. You will know if you should divert the attention to something else or nothing at all. Takes many years to master that and mean it. If you don't mean it with your heart, you will look like an ass and they will buy it out of spite, thinking that you want it, hence talking them out of it. It's not rocket science people if you're a vendor with Elwood Antiques for the six month lease they run. You will see what a true love of the industry looks like, and how it will run itself if you're true to yourself your vendors and your visitors. Caring. That's it. Just care about those that supply the shop and care about those who buy from the shop. And don't mix crafts repro and modern dollar store junk at antique prices in with quality antiques and collectibles with some vintage tossed in the mix. Pick antiques and collectibles or thrift shop. That's it stay true to what you sell and care about the supplier and the buyer. Done. Thank you for listening. And thank you for asking how we came to be. Dennis. Bruce. Chris. And all of our vendors. Elwood Antiques. Not your typical antique shop. Open Wednesday to Sunday 10 to 6 p.m.